400 advertising images a day. And now, with Photoshop, how it's gone, these are cartoons. Like, and we, and then we, then we internalize that and we say, oh, I feel bad because I don't look like that image. But what we should say is, I don't feel, I don't look like that cartoon. I don't look like Jessica Rabbit. It's ridiculous to feel bad. I want to look like Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, but nobody does. It's a fake image. So that's, that's what the movie's about, is, you know, letting go of the cartoon. After actually going to the movie last night, I actually, we were in the car going home, and I, I was like, oh, wait, I have to Photoshop, I have to edit this before I post it, and it was literally like, I just want to color correct it and smooth out some lines, and the guy with me was like, didn't you learn anything from that movie? And I was like, oh, I'm enhancing this photo before I post it. And he was like, what is wrong with you? Well, no, I say, I mean, if you have control of the fake, do the fake. I look, I, I, do I look real? Is this my real, this is not my real hair, this is my hair color from when I was two. My hair has been naturally restored to my natural hair color from when I was two. I'm, I'm good with fake, I'm good with fashion and artifice if it's fun. But if it makes you and feel- And if you feel good. If you feel good, if it makes you feel bad about yourself, then let it go. Yeah, um, the, the, the movie's adapted from a book I wrote called The Girl Genius Guide to Sex with Other People. Um, it's a movie, I mean, it's a book about a, a, a bad divorce, but um, I really wanted to make a film that focused on this issue that real women think about every day. I mean, um, there's a, a survey done that said 96 out of 100 women think at least one bad thought about their body every day, and we talked about that. <laughs> In every minute of every, every like it's like you think one bad thought about yourself once a day. I'm like I want to be that person. Right. I want to be the person that only thinks one bad thing about myself today. I like that's like my goal to think ten bad things about myself. You would that I, would be a victory. I'd be like oh my god today was an amazing day. I only thought ten <laughs> bad things about myself. I thought ten bad things about myself just sitting in this chair right now. <laughs> right. I'm now. like oh oh okay. Yeah. This is good. Oh. yeah. Yeah. So and and the other four girls are. Liars. They're liars. Totally. So if you say you not think a bad thought about yourself today, then you're lying. You're lying. I think men are starting to feel bad about themselves too. Yeah. So that's Woo! the goal. I think that's what we want. We just want to be even with men. We just want them to think really bad things about themselves. Right? That's what we want. Or oh, 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 go the other way. Oh, oh that was the that that was a trick question. <laughs> this was a very fast shoot. This was an independent movie. Um, you know, it's, we shot three weeks uh, to make the movie, um, but I had a cast of amazing actors, mostly, you know, theater trained, improv trained, people who are fast on their feet, people like Marissa, Tony Winner. Hi. Mm. Hi. That knows how to show up and get it in one take, so that's why we were able to do it. Just a, he's a great actor and he is a dreamboat in this movie and he never plays who he is in real life, which is a very thoughtful, intellectual, shy person. He, he's, a, he's a deep thinker and in this movie he gets to play this, this college professor who is such a dreamboat? Because that's actually who he is. He always plays. He always plays morons, and he's such an intelligent guy. It, because he's a good actor, he can do it. But it's fun to see him smart and sexy. And this that in yeah. the movie. You know, I keep saying it's it's love yourself now, not five pounds from now, because that's what I keep requoting that quote of hers. <laughs> But yeah, but, but that's what it is. It, yeah. it really is about like figuring out who you are, embracing yourself, and moving on. And and I think there's a really good point in the movie about people really believe like to be a feminist, to be proud of who you are. You don't change your hair color. Or you don't. And and in the movie, you're like, no. Like I love who I am, and if there's things I want to change, it doesn't make me less of a feminist. Like I'm definitely a feminist. I have friends who I'm like, oh my god, you guys are total suffragettes, you know. But <laughs> I feel like. I like I love makeup and hair and I love looking like a drag queen all the time. So that doesn't put, but I think this is the first time a movie <laughs> says like, but you don't have to be the stereotypical, you know, feminist to be a feminist. Believe in what women should be doing more than we get to do. And yeah. I think that's a really huge message that's never really been told. I mean, there's a lot of times of like, 
don't stereotype for many different reasons. And this is a new one. Like, don't stereotype what a feminist has to be. And I think right. I take, like, yes, the message is love yourself now and not five pounds from now and embrace your body, whatever shape and size it is. But I also think it's like, be true and be strong with what you believe. And it doesn't mean you have to fit in any stereotype. Like, there's many of those. So to, to just be who you are and be proud of that. And the thing also, with the feminism angle of the film, you can be a feminist and not be angry at men. Mm -hmm. Like men are not the enemy. A lot of times, we are the ones that hold ourselves back. Mm -hmm. I was saying this last night. I've had conversations with Dot Marie Jones, who plays the transgender character in the film, uh, Christina. And um, she's a big advocate for LGBT anti-bullying for teens. And she said, when we were making the film, usually the biggest bully in your life is you. You're the one that beats yourself up, you know? That, that to me, is a feminist stance, which is to, to stop doing that, to stop holding yourself back, to, to, to not, you know, try for that bigger job, and, and, and that's, that's a big message of the movie, too.